Okay, so let's talk about an error that you might might encounter if you are trying to read in um, some type of file or data set that you have on your computer, um, but it's giving you this error, cannot open file, assets, whatever the file name is, um, no such file or directory. That's really the the big point of this error, no such file or directory. And so it may be confusing because you look at it and you say, okay here's my file structure and I know that it's in assets and that the file is called this and I I spelled it correctly um, everything should be working but if you're still getting this error one of the problems that you might be running into is that your working directory is not pointed to the right location so what I mean by that is that um, this terminal down here, this console, isn't looking in the right place. This is kind of where everything is executed. When you run it up here, it tries to run it down here. And if this console, if it's not looking at the right place within your computer, then it's not going to be able to find your file. So for example, if you run this command, get a wd, open and close parentheses, it says users. That's my current working directory. So if I back up here, I'm not even on here. Here it is, users. So it's sitting right here, and it's looking throughout this closest file structure from users and it's trying to match assets sample text file and that's not actually where it is in relation to users in relation to users it is you have to drill down a little bit further mine's in documents over here it's in our foundation so it's it's a little distant from where your file actually is so the way to fix that is that you're going to use this function called set working directory and if I run it with nothing in it then it's not going to do anything because you have to pass it the argument of where you want your directory to be looking where you want this console to be looking so in order to learn how to do that let's go ahead and use the terminal let's bring it into the window here so to, using this terminal, we're going to figure out what argument to pass set working directory so that the console is looking in the right place for this file right here. So right off the bat, um, I ran a command cd dot dot. That means I'm going to go back in a directory. And if you run ls, that means list. List all of the files and folders of wherever you're looking right now. So I'm looking in home right now. If we pull this up, this is home, right? So this is really, this finder folder is really just the graphical representation of this. So we are going to dive a little bit deeper. And I know that my project is within documents. So I'm going to say, let's go into documents, ls again, and I know that my project is within our projects. So cd our projects. So now we're here, I'm going to do ls again, and I know mine's in our foundations. So I'm going to go there. Oh, I forgot the s on the end of that. So now I know that I'm in the right place. And if we want to get the current working directory of where we are right here, you'd use pwd, and that'll give you the directory. And so what you need to do, you come in here, copy this, and say set working directory. Now you got to put it in quotes. So you set that, and then we'll run that. And now we don't have an error, and we know that my TXT data was correctly found. So I hope that makes sense.
um, a possible alternative way that you can do that is if you just use this finder folder you might be more familiar with this um, and go down here and you say okay our foundations and let's say we want to get info and it might have the directory in here names and extensions no okay so it doesn't look like this might this might not be the best way to do it it doesn't have the information that we're looking for maybe if you click on one of these files And what I'm looking for is that directory that we found in the terminal, but it's not look, looking like we found it here. So the terminal right now is probably the best option uh, to do that. And yeah, so uh, good luck with that, and I hope this helps solve some problems.